Cardano monthly chart offering ADA holders a glimpse of what the parabolic bull run could look like getting ready to happen potentially very soon. ADA on the daily chart, ADA entering the eye of the storm, ADA entering right now in the short term enemy territory. So there's a there's kind of a conflict between the two, a conflict of the macro and the zoomed in price action. And I want to discuss these things in this video. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into the video. It's another Cardano video, everybody. Before I dive into the charts and discuss price action and what's going on and what to really look for for bullish confirmation, there are some things I want to go over in relation to Cardano. I saw this post. Sometimes I just like going on X and just reading people in the community, their, their takes on, on Cardano. I just, I just really like this because I do want to set a reminder as we're about to dive into the charts, Chang Hardfork is in play and probably like one of the most bullish, if not the most bullish crypto narrative in crypto for this bull cycle. I think history is being made at this point in Cardano, says Chad. So many bullish markers. Consider the Chang hard fork just around the corner. Algorand's partnership with Cardano and the rise of ADA price. I can't tell a more promising season. Mark this season on your calendar, Cardano. And I just, that just sums it up very well in a very simple way. It doesn't have to be so complicated when it comes to these cryptos. And when I actually look at a weekly chart and just zoomed out on, on ADA, I had a very just simple or similar feeling back here. ADA just looked different and primed. And it was very much an underdog and it did phenomenal. And we're in such a similar type of area right now. So continuing on with Cardano, there's some things I wanted to mention. I saw this post, by the way, uh, from Dave. This was on a, a post from Justin over here who has a ton, of, a ton of followers and is always doing just crypto content, not a fan of Cardano. But he's talking about if you love decentralization and freedom, then abandon Bitcoin and ETH. And I, I, I thought it was a great post that Dave made because this again sums up the bullish narrative of Cardano, September 1st. Cardano Chang will set the foundation Cardano of Cardano on-chain governance. Passing ownership. This is how big this is. This is why I'm mentioning it time and time again. Passing ownership of the blockchain and its treasury to Cardano holders. A giant leap to further its already impressive decentralization. There's, there's, there's no other crypto doing this, everybody. And it's true. As things like Bitcoin and ETH, they're becoming more centralized. Cardano is getting ready to go through this new phase. And then this is completely just different than what we're talking about now. But I just saw this post from Jason Crypto Crow over here. If Trump were president, RFK Jr. were CIA director, what role would Charles Hoskinson play in helping with crypto regulation and U.S. support? This got me thinking. Because if you remember, Charles Hoskinson came out and he endorsed recently Robert F. Robert F. Kennedy, RFK Jr., and if you look in the crypto space, Charles Hoskins is like the guy. He's like the one guy. I'm sure there were other people in crypto that were, you know, coming out supporting. But Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano, he's like, he's like one of the main crypto guys that were supporting RFK. And here's RFK retweeting or posting this video from Charles. And it really got me thinking now that Trump has basically brought on RFK Jr. into his camp and gonna, gonna hire RFK Jr. I know he's going to be focused very much on health stuff. But it really gets me thinking when it comes to crypto stuff and advisements for Trump, if Trump gets into office and RFK has a voice here, who's going to be one of the top people that he thinks of in regards to people in crypto that know what they're doing and people in crypto that, that he likes? And Charles Hoskinson, I'm pretty sure, is going to be at the top of the list. And that's just a, it's a very speculative thing, but... I'm really curious, and I'm curious, I'm curious if, they, if they go to Charles Hoskinson to advise on anything related to crypto. I'm, I'm curious Charles would be interested in something like that. So let's pivot over. We're going to talk about the charts now. Cardano's approaching the 20-month moving average. This on the monthly, this is massive, and I haven't even really talked about it enough, and that's why I want to break it down, and then we're going to talk about the conflict, the collision uh, as it relates to that macro and the zoomed in. Look what happened last bull cycle when ADA broke it. So this is what we're going to discuss now. Before I do, I just want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, I Trust Capital. Buy and sell crypto, gold and silver with your IRA. I wanted to point something out to you. 
just to mention this briefly, this is a, a quick Google on a, the AI kind of overview of iTrust because this is probably one of the most compelling things. According to iTrust Capital, self-trades made in an IRA with the company are tax-free. And I'm bringing that up because if you're zoomed out, and this can, this can be within context of Cardano, other cryptos, whatever. But if you're, if you're looking at the Cardano charts and you're looking at a bull cycle potentially in play and you're looking to move within your, if you have an IRA, crypto IRA, you have ADA in there and you're a macro-minded person and you're looking to move in the next bull market high to Bitcoin to prepare for the next bear cycle and you're accumulating and you're trading on the macro, not short term necessarily. Imagine the power of tax-free trades on the long term if you're going to play cycles. That's one of the most compelling things for the iTrust Capital product. The iTrust Capital counts are IRAs that shield transactions from taxes. Gains are either tax deferred or tax free, depending on the type of IRA. So traditional IRAs are funded with pre-tax money. So withdrawals are taxed, while Roth IRA contrib- contributions are funded with post-tax money. So withdrawals are not taxed. And just want to give you one more reminder, and then we'll jump in the charts. Your assets, not ours. I trust never takes custody of your assets. So hit the link below, everybody. If you don't have an iTrust account, very simple to get set up. Explore it. Think about it. And thank you, iTrust, for sponsoring the video. Let's go to the ADA chart zoomed out in the monthly. So here we go. This is what I posted. It's just the picture could not be any more clear. If, if we get an altcoin season, if we get the bull market, and we're going to talk about the caution that's involved here, everybody. There's, there's absolute caution, even very much on the short term. But even on the macro, ADA is still below the 20-month moving average. If you look at last cycle, when ADA broke this, and it was right around Bitcoin halving, this kicked off the ADA, the ADA bull run, really. I mean, this move right here, this was when Bitcoin was breaking the, the bull market doors. That really kicked it off. But this was... ADA escaping all the bear market territory, breaking that 20-month moving average, and really putting in higher highs and higher lows on the macro. We're in a very similar area. It is taking a little bit more time. You can see ADA is, you know, after Bitcoin halving, has been consolidating. We're below the 20-month. But if ADA can break this area and just look where it is on this monthly, what's going to be, I think, offer more information and context here is when we look at the weekly chart. But Look at this. We're at like it's like 40 and a half cents. It's like it's like a penny away from ADA breaking that that area. Right now we're almost at 40 cents. Now, what I want to do is I want to start zooming in because I, I mentioned at the beginning entering enemy territories. And that's part of the enemy territories right there. But we go to the weekly chart. Check this out. And if you notice, when ADA was making the move, again, right around Bitcoin having this is the weekly, but on that monthly chart, right around this moment, it was breaking above the 20-month moving average. Look what was happening. We had ADA 20-week moving average crossing above the 50-week, that green above the blue. What do we need to happen right now? Exactly the same thing, the green above the blue. And just look at Chang Hard Fork just right here while all this is happening. So... Look at the resistance right now on this weekly chart. And it, it, the same is true back here. There was resistance as ADA was trying to break through that 50-week. It just got above the 20-week. And there was resistance there, but it made the move. It exploded through. That's exactly what I'm looking for right now. What's awesome is if you go to the weekly oscillators, ADA just, if you look at this, in just almost identical type of territory in terms of how low it is, so much upside for momentum. For ADA right now to enter this cycle, but look at the moving averages, the, the two price points, and then we're really going to look at the, the eye of the storm on the short term daily. Look at this 40, like 41, it's like 42, just below 42 cents at the 20 week, the 50 week around 45 cents, 42 to 45 cents. ADA just trying to get to 40 cents as I'm doing the video. Insane resistance, right? So the monthly around 40 cents crazy macro resistance. And then we have 40, 42 cents and 45 cents. ADA is entering this massive resistance area, but it becomes even more evident on this chart. This is the daily chart. And this is where we can really get, I think, a good idea on the short term what to watch for. Again, I mentioned in the last video, ADA right now is doing nothing other than putting in a lower high. That's what's happening right now. 
I'm very happy to see it's broken above the 20. It's broken above the 50-day moving averages. These are shorter-term moving averages. We want to see it. But right now, it's contesting with the lower high Fibonacci. It's the swing high back here to the swing low. And it's basically this, this retracement area. ADA is in it. It's in the eye of the storm. Enemy territories, I think, is a great way to put it. So, yeah, we've broken above the moving averages, but it's still a lower high area. We need to see ADA break this area. And isn't it interesting? That is, this previous swing high is the 45 to almost 46 cent area. Now, why is that so interesting? Why is it so important? Because we just looked at the weekly chart. That 50-week moving average is around 45 cents. This area, the 45 cent area, is, is so important on the weekly. It's so important on the daily. And ADA, it's approaching it. And to give you a sense, ADA still has around, you know, 13% left to go to break that area. So we are not there yet, right? But we break that. And if we can break it with power and even, I should say, approach the 200 day around 49, now we're starting to get into the macro bullish confirmation indicators, right? But look at the way, look at ADA has a ways to go. We've been here before time and time again, right? Just pumping, we're, we're, we're about to enter the bull market, and then it's just consolidation and down, right? We've been here time and time again, even back here, pumping to the 50-day, even back here, not even long ago. This was in July, pumping, we're, we broke the 50-day, and then we fall, right? We have to be so careful. I know in the short term, if you're just look, opening up a quick price, it looks nice. Ada's making a move to the upside. We bounce out of this, this territory, but the, the warning is it's a lower high currently. We need to flip this. And so if we flip it, the bullish confirmation could come very quickly, but we're not there yet. And, and I wanted to mention, we could still be in bullish territory if ADA starts falling. We're getting the 20-day starting to approach the 50. It is so common to get, especially when we start breaking moving averages, to get throwbacks as we're waiting for the, the, the true flip, right? The 20-day tr the to cross above the 50 during that happening, we could get sideways into the moving averages. We could get kind of big dips to test the moving averages. So there can be a lot of volatility to the downside. And right now it's Saturday, right? It's Saturday around noon and who knows what could happen over the weekend. Maybe we get a dip. Maybe to start the week, we're dipping, right? So we have to be kind of ready, I think, and anticipate these dips. But again, these areas, these are bullish confirmation areas that I think we should just wait for and watch, or at least that's what I'm doing, and that's what this video is. It's that 45 cent area. It's the previous swing high, the lower high in uh, this on this ADA chart, and it's it's breaking that area. And if we approach it, things get can get kind of volatile fast, right? Because if we do approach it, that means we'll be breaking this lower high Fibonacci. And the upper end of the lower high Fibonacci right now is around 42 cents. So short, very short-term resistance is 42 cents up to 45 cents. Watch for that area. That's what I'm doing. And if we break it, if we break it with, with just some type of power of momentum, I think that would be a very good thing. And that's what I'm waiting for, for ADA. But you go back to this monthly if ADA breaks it, seven days, eight hours left of the monthly, can ADA close the monthly candle above the 41, 42 cent area? That's what I'll be watching in the next seven days, eight hours, the next week. Very important for ADA. So these are my thoughts on Cardano today. I appreciate you cruising through. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Turn notifications on. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.